Hello dear students hope all of you are doing very very well in this video i will be guiding ca intermediate students on their strategy of attempting the accounting and advanced accounting paper for the ca intermediate exams so that they get maximum output when they are writing these paper i'll keep this video short crisp and i'll cover up all the essential points which are required to be kept in mind when you are attempting these papers the con contents of this discussion will be i'll talk about the key focus areas i'll talk about the question paper format i have also put in the analysis of past question papers so that you can let's say visit them certain key important time management technique and so certain exam essentials which are imperative to be kept in mind while you are going for your exams first the key focus area see the three things which needs to be worked upon while you are writing your paper interpretation accuracy and speed interpretation would mean that your ability to get the question correctly while you are reading it so reading the question well and understanding the requirement of the question is the first and the most important thing which should be in place then accuracy while you are writing your answer you need to be accurate you need to be focused because if you are not accurate you may have to revisit and that will lead to wastage of time and speed is one of the most essential element while you are writing any exam because if you know 100% of the paper but if you are not able to complete it right it does not make any sense so you need to maintain a consistent speed while you are writing your paper which we'll cover under the time management asset now let us talk about the question paper format your a question paper format for accounting and advanced accounting it will comprise of six question of 20 marks each so the paper is 120 mark paper 6 into 20 120 mark out of which you need to attend five questions of 20 mark which which will make a 100 mark paper first question in the paper will be compulsory and which is usually a 20 mark question comprising accounting standards and out of which four question out of the remaining four questions have to be answered out of five so there will be total six questions question number 1 will be compulsory and out of remaining five questions you need to answer four questions we we'll look at the marking scheme the first question will have four sub parts and all the sub parts are compulsory and the sub part is five mark each which makes it 20 marks question number 2 3 4 5 we will basically be let's say the question could be in two part right or it could be a single 20 mark question as well when the question is in two part the combination of mark could be 15 plus 5 or 10 plus 12 12 plus 8 so there is no certainty as what could be the break up right it will be broken up into two parts and there will be a subdivision of mark there could there is a possibility that out of 2 3 4 and 5 there could be one big question which could be a 20 mark question and question number 6 there will be five part to that question out of which you need to answer four parts of five mark each which will make it 20 mark i would suggest that you should attempt question number 6 because there are small questions there is one theoretical question as well usually and it could be solved quickly as compared to doing a big 20 mark questions and and the parts are interlinked here you get five mark option of uh, let's say attempting four parts which will make accuracy and it will save a lot of time as well i have also put in question paper analysis of accounting and advanced accounting of past year as well if you want you could quickly run through it so that you get an idea of how the questions are asked now we'll talk about the time management as well see it's a 3 hour paper 3 hour means 180 minutes and in those 180 minutes you have to answer 100 marks so that is basically for one mark you have 1.8 minutes so i have put in a indicative uh, this thing for you so that you know when you are writing your answer how much time you should spend on a question for a Five mark, let's say question. You should ideally spend nine minutes. For ten marks, you should spend eighteen minutes. Twelve mark, you should spend spend twenty twenty two minutes. For fifteen mark, you should spend twenty seven minutes. For twenty marks, maximum thirty six minutes should be ten. Now these are inductive based on your speed and based that there could be a five mark question which could take a little lengthier time. There could be a ten mark question which could take a little shorter time. So you need to be aware that this is the ball mark which you should not uh, exceed. Then the reading time. You get fifteen minutes of reading. time before you start the paper 
please ensure that while you are reading the question paper right please try to find out those questions which you are acquainted with because in the very inception if you read something which which is maybe a little tricky or you would not have seen it earlier it will break your confidence so always try to find out questions similar to what you would have practiced it will give you a lot of confidence and after that once you come to the newer ones you would be able to solve it very easily and in this 15 mark time i would tell you that spend let's say 7 to 8 minutes in identifying your que the questions which you are acquainted with or you have practiced earlier and select the question you will answer first and spend another 7 minutes on reading that question well so that once the reading time is over you can quickly start answering it observe is what others would do they would spend entire 15 minutes in going through the question paper browsing through it and once they decide they will start reading it little bit afterwards so you will save let's say 7 to 8 minutes of edge as compared to the other students then don't try to save time while reading the question it's not necessary to read the question fast because interpretation is the key area if you understand the question well if you understand the requirements of the question well you will be able to answer it very well but if you try to save time while reading there's a high chance that you get into you interpret the question wrongly and your answer goes in the wrong direction try to write the answer fast instead of trying to read the question very fast. fast you should maintain a consistent speed because what we generally see is that in the first hour of the exam we are usually very slow and by the end of it we try to rocket speed our uh, let's say writing the answers right try to maintain a consistent speed when you start writing the paper right before you start writing the paper tell yourself that i need to attempt full 100 mark paper and i'll ensure this and i have an inductive time frame within which i need to answer each question and i'll stick to that and i'll maintain a consistent good speed so that i able to attempt entire 100 marks paper please know that there is a step marking in accounting maybe your balance sheet does not tell you but still you could score 80 to 90% of marks in that particular question if all your steps are correct so it is imperative that you attempt 100 marks so that you can take advantage of step marking and you could score very high marks in accounts and the most important thing the most important thing come what may you will not panic right come what may you will not panic because no matter how much you practice but if you are not able to perform on the field right your score remains zero so so you have worked very hard over the past period of time right you have put in lot of efforts now these 3 hours is the deciding deliverable time where you need to be at your best of abilities and try to give your best so that you get the best of result which you deserve so please do not panic i believe all of you have the ability to do very well in the exam provided you keep yourself calm you keep your nerves cool and you are able to keep your momentum going you will be able to do very well then certain exam essential these are very very important right set your bag exam bag today itself don't wait for the day of exam in 2 hours before the exam you are trying to arrange things and also in the present scenario please ensure that your travel arrangements are sorted because last moment there could be certain problem and and then things will go haywire set your bag today itself put your admit card Put your your ID proof if required. You you need to write your paper with a black ballpoint pen. Ensure that you have couple of black ballpoint pen in your pencil box. Other stationery should be there. Keep your separate water bottle along with you. See, we are in the time of COVID. The COVID protections are extremely important to ensure you have your mask, you have your sanitizer, hand sanitizer, surface surface sanitizer also in place so that you are totally covered and you don't face any health issues afterwards. very 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 important please listen to this you have a gap of one day before each of your exams at least please ensure that day before the exam you are taking at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep because if we need to perform well in the exam we should be in the best of our mental and health capacities if you are in that position you will be able to write the question paper and you will be able to solve the questions well please ensure that you are not skipping on sleep it is extremely important again do ensure that you reach the exam center well in time 
It is absolutely important in the current given scenario and also there have been a change in the centers for several locations, right? Please visit the ICI website and ensure that your center remains the same because there has been a shuffle. You need to ensure that you are, you are reaching the right center which has been allotted to you. Now, I believe you have all the ability to do well. You have put in immense hard work under the most turbulent circumstances, right? And I salute your courage and your zeal that you have taken up the decision and go for the exam and step ahead in your life. I wish you all all the very best. If you need any help, please reach out to me. I will be very happy to help you. Once again, I pray for good luck and I wish you all the best for your exams. Thank you so much, guys. Do well.